Hi guys, welcome to this video. It's uh, basically the new ISO from November that I've just built and tested out. The topic of the video is Calamaris. Calamaris is great, it's a default tool. By the way, this is an XL ISO, right? You saw that. And I've selected a lot, a lot of stuff. And some of them, some of the things come in by the fancy and others are actually chosen. So we are on CHA DDM desktop, that's what you're looking at. And we have XFC, that's the XL ISO, and this comes in because of dependencies. Calamaris is an installer for Linux for many distributions, and there is a log file. So I'm just remembering, reminding you that there is something called a log in file system, var, log and if you think something went wrong with it you can check it right so check what happens to your system after installation after rebooting it's still there var log calamaris log that's the settings you have so depending on the editor that will open in an editor and the other one is the calamaris log so this one right if you double click this one it will show you how many lines 23,000, something like that right it's a lot to go through through uh, to, to scroll through but the thing is i don't need to read everything i just in my case right i do a control find and then type exit and then code double point space and the zeros are okay but the ones i check the ones so which plymouth it's normal that we get an, an error code here because yeah we don't use plymouth right so find okay next one tries to remove something but Pacman is smart it says no I can't remove that because it's a dependency for something else so I won't remove it so that's cool required by libtorrent roster bar okay fine so you go on and you go on and this is what I do as a developer then thinking okay what do we need and this is how I found out that YouTube DL was no longer on our repo might have been an arch so this is this is something you need to know there is arch Linux and there is AOR and it jumps like like fleece from a dog right from jumps from from AOR to arch and from arch to AOR you can't install stuff from AOR you need to build stuff from AOR so that's why if something moves from arch Linux away from pseudo pacman minus s it moves away from that and it goes to the AOR it's me, right, who has to build the package and put it on our repo. And then it's back again. And the way around, others, otherwise, uh, the other the other ways, it is on AOR and suddenly Archlink says, I want to have that on our repo. They adopt the uh, package. Then I don't need to build it anymore. So it goes away from the Archlink repo. So that's the, that's the exercise I have to make from time to time. I'll install all of it, right, all. Well, a lot of apps anyway, for um, via the advanced Calamaris installer. As you can see, I've installed quite a few and it takes a while, depending on your download speed as well, but it's all of them. All right, so that's um, the message reminding you there is something in there to analyze and find things, what went wrong, because it will tell you something. It will give you an information about it the other thing you should remember is the alias so alias is great it's filled right lots of aliases and the l thing is a lot let's maybe scroll up to the l stuff here we have a lot of l's but here is l calamaris so l calamaris is basically the same thing but it's not in sublime text or another editor it's just inside an terminal right same info with some coloring nice to read you scroll through until you find something you say wow that's the reason why it didn't work there is always a reason and it couldn't can be so many things but here you can analyze and then change things change configs remove packages and so on all right enjoy <laughs> 